The other day, I read up about an oil spill survivor being transferred to a new home in Grassy Key, Florida. The survivor was a bottlenose dolphin named Louie, and he is said to be the last living dolphin survivor of last April's BP Deepwater Horizon oil spill in the Gulf Coast. However, when I think of this dolphin, I think of another dolphin who was given a second chance at life. Her name is Winter, the tailless dolphin who survived 36 hours of being stuck in a crab trap. She was then taken to the Clearwater Marine Aquarium where she still resides after years and months of rehabilitation. When I compare the two dolphins and their ordeals, they share one thing in common. Their situations were a result of human impact in the ocean. In Winter's case, she got herself entangled in a blue crab trap in the Skeeter Lagoon, Florida at two months of age on the 9th of December, 2005. She would remain alone and imprisoned in the crab trap for the next 36 hours until salvation came the next day. It was then the Hub Sea World Institute came to Winter's rescue and untangled her from the nets. Shortly after she was freed from the crab trap, Winter was in serious condition and she had to be taken in for rehabilitation purposes. In the case of Louie, on the other hand, he was victimized by the oil spill in the Gulf Coast on the 2nd of September, 2010, when he was first found on Fort Con Beach, Louisiana. The oil-covered dolphin was not alone. He and another juvenile dolphin were both rescued by the Louisiana Marine Mammal and Sea Turtle Ins Rescue Organization. Sadly, the second dolphin died shortly after being rescued. From the moment Winter was rescued, biologists believed she would die the next day due to the condition status of her injuries. Just to make matters worse, because blood supply to her tail was lost during entanglement, Winter lost her tail two days after arriving at the Clearwater Marine Aquarium in Clearwater, Florida. It was then her rehabilitation began. Winter is believed to be one of the very few dolphins in the world to have survived entanglement because usually many times when dolphins get themselves entangled in fishing nets of any kind, they end up drowning in the process. This is because dolphins are marine mammals and they are required to take a breath of air every time they come up to the surface. Despite the prediction that Winter would not survive her injuries, her condition started to improve due to the tireless dedication of the Clearwater Marine Aquarium or CMA staff. Louis was not expected to survive either. His caretakers at the Audubon Nature Institute in New Orleans, Louisiana gave the one-year-old bottlenose dolphin a 5% chance of survival for he also for he had both burns from the oil spill and injuries that were a result of an assault by another dolphin. The miracle part of Louis's tragic situation was the fact that two weeks into his five-month rehabilitation, he began to show signs of improvement. Still, both Winter and Louis required 24-7 care on a daily basis during their rehabilitation. During Winter's rehabilitation, Winter had to learn how to swim in a fish-like pattern since her tail was long gone. Over time, Winter would eventually adapt well to this swim pattern, as well as eat on her own, in opposed to nursing. But being tailless does have consequences to a dolphin, such as crippledness, scoliosis, and even death. Because of this, Winter would go on to receive a prosthetic tail after months of public funding. Unlike Winter, Louis did not lose his tail from his ordeal. However, he still had to learn how to eat solid fish on his own and learn how to swim again by moving his tail in a horizontal position. He had to learn he had to learn how to swim again on his own be because in the beginning, Louis had trouble breathing on his own and his caretakers would have to hold him above up the water line so he would not sink accidentally sink and accidentally drown due to being weak and exhausted from the ordeal. Despite their conditions being fully improved, neither Winter nor Louis would be released back into the ocean again. Winter was declared non-releasable by the U.S. National Marine Service in 2006 due to suffering from a permanent injury that would otherwise result in death in her age at the time of her rescue. 
Shortly after being moved to the main dolphin exhibit at Clearwater Marine Aquarium, she was taken in by an older dolphin named Panama, who eventually became her adopted mother. The two have been together ever since. Because Louis was at an age where he should have still been with his mother, Louis was declared non-releasable by the U.S. National Marine Service in 2010. On the 6th of February, 2011, Louis was taken, Louis was transferred from the Audubon Nature Institute to Grassy Key, Florida Dolphin Research Center, a facility that has been known to take in orphaned and rescued dolphins who were in need of both a forever home and a family. The reason behind the move was because the facility where he was being rehabilitated had no other dolphins in their care, making him the only dolphin in their care. It is not known when when Louis will be introduced to his new pod or family of dolphins, but the staff at Dolphin Research Center are hoping to do so after he completes 30 days of quarantine. They are so sure that he will find a family in their dolphins. It's safe to conclude that the strandings of Winter and Louis share one thing in common. Their manner of, of strandings were a result of human activity. In the case of Winter, the reason why her stranding was a result of human activity is because sometimes fishermen will create fishing gear that can sink to the bottom of the water. Sometimes dolphins may follow their prey to these nets before getting entangled in these nets. Such entanglement can lead to death or injury. As for having no tail due to such encounter, Winter is so lucky to be alive. Louis' situation is also a result of human activity because of what happened during the oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. Oil spills can have a negative effect on cetacean populations. Oil can easily get into their eyes and mouth as well, cause as, well as cause vision and intestinal problems too. Oil spills can have a huge toll on, on whale and dolphin health-wise health on a long-term scale. However, these situations can be prevented. In the entanglement situation, removing all unneeded fishing gear from the water before entanglements occur is a simple way to prevent a tragic situation like Winter's. To prevent a situation like Louis's, oil refiners should always check for leaks and be very cautious while fueling. These prevention ideas can help make the world a better place for dolphins for generations to come. And this is Marine Beauties 12 logging off and hope you enjoyed this amazing essay that I wrote for my English class and have a good day. Bye.